Hello guys, my name is Muhammad. I'm from Land of Coding and this is the first video of a new series on my channel. In this series, we are going to build an Android app from scratch using Android Studio. And this project will be a very good practice for you if you are into Android development, because you will understand a lot of concepts such as getting data from API and display this data, or maybe save this data into a local database and other concepts that you will apply by the end of this project. In this video, I will show you what we are going to build and in the next videos, we will start building this app. And by the way, I named this project Easy Food. So as you can see, this is the app that we are going to build. Basically, this app has three fragments. Each fragment displays some information. The first fragment is Home, which has three sections. The first section displays a random meal that get changed every time we refresh this fragment. Let me show you, when I click on home again, then this meal will get changed, as you can see. Now, if I click on this meal, then it takes me to another activity that shows everything about that meal. And I can add this meal into favorites like that. Also, I can watch a YouTube video about that meal if I click on the YouTube icon. So if I click on here, then this video will play on YouTube. Now below the random meal we have over popular items, in here we will display the most requested meal in this app. As you can see it's a meal list and if I click on any meal then it takes me to the meal details like that and we're gonna implement the progress bar and everything as you can see. And also we have category section which will display all the categories such as beef, chicken and so on and we have all of these categories. Now if I click on any category then I will move to another activity which will show all the meals belong to that category. And one more cool feature we're going to implement when I press for a long time on any meal. So if I press on this meal for a long time then this bottom view will show at the bottom of the screen which will display some information about that meal and when I click on read more then then it shows me all the details about that meal. Also, we have a search icon, so we can search about a specific meal by the name of that meal. If I click on the search icon and type any name in here, for example, beef, and search about beef, then it will show me a meal that related with this word, which is beef. If I click on this meal, then it takes me again to the meal details. Now, the second fragment is favorites which will show all the favorite items that the user added to favorites. And to implement this feature, we're going to use a local database. Now the last thing, which is category, in here we will show all the categories we have in the app. Now what about libraries and technologies we are going to use to build easy food? Well, first of all, we're going to use Kotlin as a programming language. And for the libraries and technologies we will use, first, navigation component to navigate between fragments, retrofit to get the data from the API, room to save meals into a local database, MVVM and live data architecture. We're going to use coroutines to do some work in the background thread. We're going to use a view binding. And finally, we're going to use a glide to catch images from the internet. And I will leave you this GitHub link if you want to read more about this project or if you want to get the source code, this link will be in the description. So that's everything we are going to implement in our app. Stay excited to build this project with me and catch you in the first video of Easy Food Series. See you.